Welcome back to PEP. Today's topic is value proposition. Value proposition, what in the world is that? It's quite simple. Value proposition, you wanna answer three very important questions. Who you are, what you do, and why you do it better or best. So you might be thinking, hmm, great, okay, why do I need to uh, know my value proposition? I'll share a quick story with you. Uh, in my former life as a realtor, uh, I worked very hard to make contact with a very big fish in town, and I had a piece of property that I wanted to sell him. And I knew this piece of, piece of property forward and backwards, every detail, all the history, all the comps in the area, and I finally, after weeks and weeks of pursuit, got a meeting with this big fish, and he came and looked at this property, and I walked him through, and I dazzled him with all the details, and then as we're standing out front, of the property, uh, you know, I'm going for the clothes, and this gentleman just looked me straight in the eye, and he says to me, so Sean, why should I do business with you? And I was dumbfounded, and I felt like a fool because uh, I can't even remember what I said, but I know it wasn't intelligent. So I got back to the office, and you know, I was still kind of wet behind the ears in real estate, and my mentor says to me, Sean, you need to develop a very strong value proposition if you want to do business at a high level. Now, value proposition is important, not just in business, but let's say you're trying to woo the love of your life or you know, ask someone out on a first date or maybe even uh, convince your kids to do something for you. Uh, the value proposition is going to be very important. So enjoy the following video, and after the video, don't forget to click the link below the video and take the survey to validate your participation today. Thank I'm Sean Donovan, and I am the founder of Grow. I'm the author of the book, Health and Happiness, and I impact the world with my writing, speaking, and coaching. I also initiate and facilitate positive change in people by educating and empowering them to maximize their own health and happiness. But before I can impact other people or change the world, I have to be the best I can possibly be. So therefore, time and health are two of my top values. And I consider myself to be the best at what I do because I always do what I say I'm going to do. I also lead by example. I've studied under some great mentors, and I've emulated them and practiced what they preached. Uh, this wisdom, as well as my own experiences, has helped me become qualified to help you become the best person you can possibly be. That is what? That was my value proposition. Who I am, what I do, and why I do it better or best. So in the orientation session, we touched on the value proposition a little bit. And I gave you guys some homework, the core values and the value proposition. So last week, we went over some of the core values. And this week, I wanted to talk in a little more depth about value proposition. Who has a quick 60 second, maybe a minute and a half uh, value proposition that they would like to share about themselves? Chelsea. Um, can I stand? Please. I am Chelsea Josenard. I'm a holistic health and nutrition counselor. So I help people who want to lose weight or have more energy um, find their unique, perfect foods and lifestyle so that they can live a more balanced life permanently. And what makes me the best at what I do is I'm a really good listener. I um, am good at meeting people exactly where they are. I am never judgmental. I am extremely knowledgeable in my field. And I think the thing that makes me, that makes me stand out I, even the most is um, the fact that I'm really, really passionate about what I do, and I really love what I do. Thank you for sharing, Kelsey. <laughs> Josh, did you want to share? Sure. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josh Curtis, and I would say that I'm an honest, powerful, creative man of life. Because being the honest, powerful, creative man of life that I am, I inspire and radiate my life throughout the universe, creating a world of love, joy, and enthusiasm. And so it is. Amen. <laughs> wow. Nice. Okay, Josh. Thank you for sharing that light. Anybody else want to share their quick value proposition? Who you are, what you do, why you do it best? Stillman, you're one of the best trainers I've ever met. You want to share yours? It's kind of putting you on the spot. Putting me on the spot. <laughs> okay. I'm Stillman Rice. I've been in the health and fitness industry over 30 years. So obviously my passion is helping individuals 
all ages, athletic abilities, non-athletic abilities, improve their physical condition. I believe in everybody that can do better, challenge them a little bit more, and inspire them to be the best that they can from where they are to where they want to be. Thank you. Thank you, Stoma. Thank you for sharing. So you guys that didn't share, we're going to find out what you guys do. Writing four words up on the board here. Sales, customer service, management, and production. So a lot of diversity here in this room, and DME is a very diverse company. How many of you in this room are in sales? Raise your hand. One, two, three, okay. How about uh, customer service? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Management, any managers? One, two, three, four, five, great. And how about production? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. All right, pretty interesting spread here. Three in sales, eight in customer service, five in management, and ten in production. Well, I'm gonna prove, yes? Is there a category missing there? No, I, I just um, I don't want to be defined by what I do for a living. Okay, good, <laughs> good, because that's what we're going to talk about. Um, you know, we're often defined by our title, what's on our business cards, but you know, value proposition is all about what you do, like what you do on a daily basis, what you think, how you live your life. So I'm going to prove to you that all four of these categories, each one of you does or should be doing each one of these things. So the three of you that are in sales, that might be, you know, your card might say sales associate, or you, know, you might be selling cars or you know, direct mailing or something like that, but what if you're selling your spouse on the idea of going to the restaurant of your choice that night? What if you're selling your spouse on uh, the vacation that, that you wanna go on? Uh, what if you're pitching a new idea to your boss? Or what if you're selling your kids on eating their vegetables? You know, so sales is not just relegated to what we do for a living or what's on our business card. You know, even if we're not in sales, if we're showing up to a job and we're getting an hourly wage, we're essentially selling ourselves, our time in exchange for a paycheck, right? So how many people are in sales now? Yeah, just about everybody has sold something, even if it's an idea. Customer service. Customer service is something we have to all be great at. Not just at work, because if we're not serving our customers, they're gonna go to somebody who will serve them. But likewise, if we're not serving our family, our wife, our kids, our friends, if we're not giving them good service and giving them uh, uh, good uh, interaction with us, you might find yourself broke, lonely, unemployed, single real fast if you're not good at customer service. Management. Think about the things that we manage throughout the day. And once again, this is not just relegated to a title at work. Um, you don't just have to manage other employees. We have to manage our time. We have to manage our finances. We have to manage our health and our personal hygiene, right? Production. A lot of people said they were in production. And this is good because if we're not producing something of value, we're going to become obsolete and are going to become replaced pretty quickly, right? So those four key components right there really kind of sum up the foundation. But when you talk about value proposition, you've got to drill a lot deeper than that mm -hmm. and find out like what's really special about you. What sets you apart from the rest? What makes you the best person that you can be? Why is your value proposition important to you? I mean, who, who cares about this? Why are we making such a big deal about it in the first three sessions? Well, it really defines you and it gives you a framework to operate within. So why is a value proposition important to other people? Why should you be able to care? Well, if you're selling your idea, if you're in sales, or if you're in business, if you're interviewing for a job, or if you're 
proposing to your wife to marry you, you got to have a good value proposition to get the things in life that you want. Plus, other people will really appreciate knowing what they can call on you for and what kind of results they're going to get when they do call on you to do something for them. So what is your value proposition? How do you find out what your value proposition is? First way is to be a good listener. Listen to what people are saying about you. Listen to compliments people may give you. And this is not as easy as it sounds because some of us uh, have selective hearing when it comes to getting compliments or critique. Uh, right or right? Right. Right. So also some, uh, some good ways to find out your value proposition are to look at your resume, what you've done in the past. Look at employer reviews, 60-day, one-year one reviews. Uh, listen to your friends. Listen to what people ask for when they interact from you. Uh, you know, if you're really good at fixing lawnmowers, everybody in the neighborhood finds out about it. Every time their lawnmower breaks down, they're going to come over to your house to get you to fix their lawnmower, right? So these are little clues that we get throughout life that tell us what we're really good at. So what does all this feedback say about you and why poll other people? Why listen to other people? Because their opinion about you is more objective. They're able to see you from an outside. You know, we become so uh, pre-programmed or conditioned with our own thoughts and sometimes it's hard for us to see ourselves from the outside. So that's why we listen to other people. Great tagline for your value proposition. Think of your value proposition as the headline for your success story. So if there was a huge newspaper article or magazine spread written about you, what would that headline say? Deborah Ann Lee sends out amazing newsletter. Excellent. Mark Finke has excellent customer service, uh, nails another big account. Or what would that headline say? Think about that when you're working on your value proposition. Got a good story for you. There's a... Uh, I walk up on a job site, construction site, and there's a masonry crew working, and there's two bricklayers, and they're both working away side by side. And I walk up, and I ask the first bricklayer, what are you doing? And he says, oh, man, I'm, I'm laying bricks. <laughs> and then I ask the second bricklayer, what are you doing? He goes, I am building a cathedral. <laughs> so what are you doing on a daily basis? Are you just laying bricks, or are you building a cathedral? You know, personally, I could say, well, you know, I, I write, I speak, I coach people. Or I could say, I'm changing the world one person at a time. So think about what could make you unique in this value proposition. Our motivational message for this week goes along with the value proposition nicely. And it's by a man named Robertson Davies. And it states that if a man wants to be of the greatest possible value to his fellow creatures, let him begin the long solitary task of perfecting himself first. Now, we may never reach perfection, but certainly striving to be the best you can be is going to energize and empower you to give back to other people and to return more. A reliable resource for this week is an excellent book. Has anybody heard of uh, best-selling author Seth Godin? Amazing blogger, amazing uh, author. His book, Lynchpin, Are You Indispensable? We took a great quote from this. And it says, the only way to get what you're worth is to stand out, to exert emotional labor, to be seen as indispensable, and to produ produce interactions that organizations and people care deeply about. So that's an excellent read that we recommend. And it'll kind of help you define who you are. It'll help you work on your core values and establish that value proposition.